I'm Anna Kendrick. I'm hosting SNL this week with musical guest Pharrell. <laughs> I can't. I can't stop. I was just yeah. like, I'm in the movie with you. <laughs> I don't know where to begin with that. I would want to share a taxi with Sharon Stone because she is 57 and she looks like do you think if you guys met up on like the 10 year anniversary, you could do it beat for beat? I mean, I'm challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're marking this day. <laughs> this is a great film. Thank you. And comedy sequels are not normally great films. Musical sequels are usually even worse. So how much of a risk Have there been this? many musical sequels? I've never thought of this. Grease 2, Blues Brothers 2. Ah, uh, yeah. Grease 2 is kind of fabulous in its own way. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> mm, he was a cool writer. No, it's terrible. I, I grant you that. You know, I have to ask about Pitch Perfect. You have a lot of fans in the Variety Newsroom, so we have a third one coming. I feel like this could go on forever and ever and ever. How many would you want to do? Um, I, I don't. I think that this. Is, I think the plan is that this would be. I, you know what? I'm not. I don't know, because that's immediately like. I, I don't. I don't know. I know nothing. If the third one does well, which I'm sure it will, and they said we want to do a fourth, would you want to do it? I see, and I love you, Variety, for, for all of this, but. No, no, I'm not saying anything. The thing is, like, everybody got like a nice, like inspirational quote, like make your care tricks to make you look younger. And my thing is like, I let my wife have another man's baby. <laughs> but I didn't. No. It looks like that's me saying yeah. that. But you didn't. I yeah. haven't done that. Uh -uh. <laughs> you haven't done yeah. that. Very funny. The other day I was helping, or the other day, yesterday I was helping this girl in the bathroom who was having like a zombie makeup emergency. I was like, this is great. This is the best place on earth. Um, yeah, I wish every day was more like Comic Con. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not stop questioning. I said that. Sorry, Albert Einstein said that. You're familiar. Anna Kendrick, and I'm hosting SNL with Pharrell Williams. So, um, Pharrell, are you happy to be here? Sure. Just like your cups to be here. It doesn't work. It doesn't work with cups. I, I know that now. I got it. It's okay. You tried. When does this show air? Saturday. Wait, it's Saturday Night Live. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. And when does it, but when is it tape? No, it, it, no tape. It's live. Saturday Night Live. These are... All questions that could be answered just in the name of the show. Okay, okay. Is it during the day or? It's during the night. Right, okay. Saturday. Sure. Night. Okay. And um, she was like in the corner trying to like stay in character and be focused and I was just like creeping on her like, you are so pretty, how are you doing that with your face? <laughs> how are you doing that, J-Lo? That's crazy. I can't do it. What? Are you sure? Can't be done. You didn't try for very long. You're going to die. There's sort of less stress involved, although uh, I think Gabby Sidibe, who I'm presenting with, is very wise. I think she's going to wear flats. So I'm the idiot in heels trying to walk on that stage. I mean, I just try to go for, like, just something sweet, something cute, and something where I have a waist. Because it's hard to pull off, for me, it's hard to pull off those kind of sheath dresses. Yes. Because um, I end up looking like I'm um, wearing, like, a... A sack of potatoes. Do you revel in sort of this notion that you'll define Cinderella for a generation of kids who will... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nope, but thanks for that. <laughs> but it is sort of hard to watch something that you loved as a child and not go, what the hell were we watching? That's like a lot of... That's actually a lot of fairy like, tales, Like, I love too. that... I love that... Peter Pan is like definitely for children and like the Freudian, like the Oedipus complex and it's, or the Electra complex, it's just so dark and like sexual and weird. And, and then people are worried about Into the Woods being too dark for children. And it's like, dude, like Peter Pan is so messed up. So many, so many like children's stories are so messed up. You're so good in Zombieland. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> kind of done it all. I don't know if you can yeah, do it. Yeah, I don't. I've never done a period piece. I don't think. Yeah, maybe that's. I have to do a Wild West. That's my next venture. <laughs> Catalani. I don't know. I really need you to listen to me. I I, I came because I get along with you usually. So 
I need you to just listen to the sound of my voice and what I'm saying, which is that I came here to promote 5050, which is a movie that I'm proud of, and I um I cannot I'm not gonna talk to you about about Twilight anymore. You're you're an idiot. I'm so I don't mean to I don't usually say things like that. No, I get it. But you're an idiot. We'll help you down when we need to. Okay, you wanna give me a piggyback? Yeah, we'll give you a piggyback. <laughs> Make sure we get that on camera. That the the journey here, you didn't have a passport? Like how you're don't you have people? Don't I? I know. It's like uh, I was came from New York. I thought I was going to go back to L.A. in between to get my passport. And when I didn't, it didn't occur to me until I was at the airport. Um, so um, the lovely ladies at Air Canada suggested that I get on a flight on a different airline at a different airport to Buffalo. And then someone dro drove me across the border like I was, you know, like I was being smuggled into the country like a career criminal. Um, but uh, it all worked out in the end. And now the, the question is just, will I be able to get back into my home country? So fingers crossed. Feel free to stay as long as you like. <laughs> Thank so you. Much. I just hope to be able to have the kind of variety that I've been lucky enough to have in my career and, um, and you know, hopefully come to events like this, work with organizations like Trevor and get to do that in between, you know, making movies, which was, you know, uh, the dream of my life. Hi, how are you? It's not hard to compliment um, Brigitte, the actress who plays the Commissar. Um, she is absolutely gorgeous, so uh, I did have fun um, angrily complimenting her. I think we should change her name to Feisty Mouse. Yeah, Feisty Mouse is a tiny little rodent going around and making some tunes. Are you seriously Sing singing about Feisty Mouse? Yeah, I sing this. Idiot. And I've learned something too, something I never knew.